Hi friends, here I am going to present session 3 of the paper 7 analysis 2 and algebra 4 of 6th semester mathematics. The topic is equations of line and circle in complex form. So all of you know the equation of line in Cartesian form. So the first degree general equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 always represents straight line. So similar to that here we have to find the equation of line in complex form. So first we are, here we find the equation of line joining two points in complex form. So let us we know how to find the equation of line in complex form. So here the points are z1 and z2 that is z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 and z2 is equal to x2 plus i y2. So these are complex points represented by A and B. So in this uh, complex plane, in this geometrical representation, A of z1 is the first point and B of z2 is the second point. Here we join the point A and B, we get AB. So here we take any point P of z, where z is equal to x plus i y. This is any point on the line a b. So, here we observed that the points a p b are collinear. They lie on the same line. Therefore, the line a p and a b are parallel. Once it is parallel, the angle made by a p and a b is equal to 0 or 180 degree. So, that is amplitude of a p by a b is equal to 0 or pi. Here a p is equal to z minus z 1 and a b is equal to z 2 minus z 1. So, using position vectors a p is equal to o p minus o a and a b is equal to o b minus o a. Therefore, the amplitude of a p by a b that is z minus z 1 by z 2 minus z 1 is equal to 0 or pi. If the amplitude of the complex number is 0 or 180 degree then that complex number must be purely real that is there is no imaginary part if the complex number is real then the conjugate of that real number is itself the conjugate of complex number is itself if it is real so here z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 is equal to conjugate of z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z2 z2 minus z1 so this is the required equation of line in complex form. So, by using this formula, we can solve some examples on equation of line joining two points. First one, find the equation of line joining the points z1 is equal to 2 plus psi and z2 is equal to 3 minus 2i. So, you have to consider the equation that is z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 substituting z is equal to x plus i y and z1 is the first point 2 plus i and z2 minus z1 3 minus 2i minus of 2 plus i. So, on simplification we get in the new denominator 1 minus 3i. So, in separating real and imaginary parts we get x minus 2 plus i into y minus 1. So, next we have to rationalize the denominator. So, by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of denominator that is conjugate of 1 minus 3i is 1 plus 3i. So, here we multiply 1 plus 3i. So, in the denominator we get a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square that is 1 square minus 3 square i square. So, i square is minus 1. So, it becomes plus 1 plus 3 square that is 1 plus 9 10. So, it is 1 by 10. So, on multiplication of x minus 2 with 1 plus 3i and plus i into plus i into y minus 1 with 1 plus 3i we get x minus 3y plus 1 plus i into 3x plus y minus 7. So, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Now, the equation of line joining two points is z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 is equal to conjugate is equal to its conjugate. So, here the conjugate is just changing the sign of imaginary part that is minus i into 3x plus y minus 7, y minus 7. So, that is 
இந்த LHS we have 1 by 10 into x minus 3y plus 1 plus i into 3x plus y minus 7 is equal to its conjugate that is only change in minus, minus i. So here the real parts are same, equating imaginary parts we get the equation of line is 3x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation. Usually the equation is the imaginary part. So the imaginary part of that uh, equation that is z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 gives the required equation of line. Okay. Now let us we study about the equation of circle. So what is the equation of circle? So all of you know the equation of circle in Cartesian form is x square plus y square is equal to r square. So that is there the center is 0 comma 0 and the radius r. So here in complex number that x square plus y square if z is equal to x plus i y then x square plus y square is modulus of z whole square. So mod z whole square is equal to r square or mod z is equal to r. So that is the equation of circle in complex form mod z is equal to r with center at origin. So the equation of circle with center at z naught other than origin and radius r is so you replace z by z minus z naught similar to x minus x1 whole square y minus y1 whole square is equal to r square in the Cartesian form here in the complex form the equation of circle with center at z naught and a radius r is the modulus of z minus z naught is equal to r. So using the properties of complex numbers squaring on both sides we get z minus z naught whole square is equal to r square and mod z whole square is z into z ball the product of the complex number and its conjugate. So conjugate of this difference is the conjugate of the difference of the conjugates that is conjugate of z minus z naught is z bar minus z naught bar. So on multiplications we get z z bar minus z naught z bar minus z z naught bar plus z naught z naught bar minus r square is equal to 0. So this is the equation of circle in complex form with center at z naught and a radius r. Let us see some examples on equations of circles. Find the locus of the point z satisfying first one modulus of z plus i less than or equal to 2. Second one imaginary of imaginary part of z plus i greater than or equal to 0. So let us see one by one. The first one so we know that modulus of z plus i that is z plus z minus of minus i is equal to 2 represents a circle with center minus i and radius 2. Therefore, this less than or equal to less than 2 means it is inside the circle. So the all the points lies inside the circle. Hence, modulus of z minus of minus i less than or equal to represents all points within and on the circle with center at minus i and a radius equal to 2. So locus means it is a moving point, it is a general point. So similarly in example 2 that is b, you have to find imaginary part of z plus i. So substitute z is equal to x plus i y and separating real and imaginary parts we get z plus i is equal to x plus i into y plus 1. So now the imaginary part of z plus i is here imaginary part is y plus 1. So y plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 by data z imaginary of z plus i greater than or equal to 0. So this implies y is greater than or equal to minus 1. So now if y is equal to minus 1, so the, here y is equal to minus 1 represents a line parallel to x axis and one in it below the x axis. So y is equal to minus 1 represents a straight line parallel to x axis and one in it below the x axis. Therefore, the equation y greater than or equal to minus 1 represents so greater than or equal to minus 1 it is above the line minus 1. So all the points on and above the line y is equal to minus 1. So these are the locus of the points of locus of the given examples. Let us see some more examples.
on this that is if z minus i by z minus 1 is purely imaginary then show that its locus is a circle so the moving point z is a circle so what is circle how do you find circle so in we have to find the equation in Cartesian form that is x square plus y square plus 2 j 2 gx plus 2 of y plus c is equal to 0 let z is equal to x plus i y so first we find z minus i by z minus 1 we have to find the real and imaginary parts we have to express z minus i by z minus 1 in the form of x plus i y real part and imaginary part so put z is equal to x plus i y and then find z minus i by z minus 1 so that is x plus i i y minus 1 x plus i y minus 1 x plus i y minus i so separating real parts x plus i into y minus 1 divided by x minus 1 plus i y so here we have complex numbers rationalizing the denominator by multiplying its conjugate so that the conjugate is x minus 1 minus i y so multiplying both numerator and denominator in denominator we get x minus 1 plus i y into x minus 1 minus i y that is a plus b a minus b x minus 1 whole square plus y square so in the numerator multiply on multiplication we get x plus i y minus 1 into x minus 1 minus i y so on multiplication we get that is equal to x square plus y square minus x minus y divided by x minus 1 whole square plus y square plus i into 1 minus x minus y by x minus 1 whole square plus y square so this is imaginary part and this is real part by data z minus i by z minus 1 is purely imaginary that is the real part is equal to 0 a complex number is said to be purely imaginary if the real part is 0 so the real part x square plus y square minus x minus y is equal to 0 so that means this is the equation of circle so this is the equation of circle with center minus g minus f so here g is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus g is plus 1 by 2 so f is equal to minus 1 by 2 and uh, minus f is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 minus g comma minus f is the center and our radius r is equal to square root of j square plus f square minus c so all of you know this formula just i will find the radius so here g is 1 by 2 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 here the constant c is equal to 0 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 so 1 by root 2 is the radius okay let us see one more example show that the argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is equal to pi by 3 represents a circle represents a circle so we have to find again how to substitute z is equal to x plus i y here also we have to find the real part and imaginary part because argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is tan inverse of y the argument of z is tan inverse of y by x so you have to find x and y you have to find real part and imaginary part for that put z is equal to x plus i by z minus 1 by z plus 1 is so substitute x plus i y and separating we get x square plus y square minus 1 plus 2 i y divided by x plus 1 whole square plus y square so as usual you have to rationalize the denominator we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of denominator so that we get z minus 1 by z plus 1 is x square plus y square minus 1 that is real part plus 2 y divided by x plus 1 whole square plus y square imaginary part so here the denominator is common to both real part and imaginary part therefore the argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is tan inverse of uh, tan inverse of uh, imaginary part divided by real part so here imaginary part is 2y divided by real part x square plus y square minus 1 so this argument is equal to y by 3 so this is equal to y by 3 therefore 2y by x square plus y square 2y by x square plus y square is equal to tan of y by 3 tan 60 degree so tan 60 degree is root 3 square root of 3 
So on cross multiplication, we get x square plus y square minus 2 by root 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. So which represents a circle with center 0, 1 by root, 1 by root 3. So here there is no x term, the coefficient g is equal to 0, so minus g is equal to 0. Here 2f is minus 2 by root 3, so f is equal to minus 1 by root 3, minus f is 1 by root 3. So this is the center and the radius r is equal to square root of g square plus f square minus c, so that gives 2 by root 3. Similarly, the example 4 show that modulus of z minus 1 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square is equal to 4 represents a unit circle. So, what is unit circle? This is circle with center origin and radius 1. So, that is we have to get, we have, we have to obtain x square plus y square is equal to 1. So, let us put z is equal to x plus i y find z minus 1 that gives x minus 1 plus i y and modulus of z minus 1 is square root of x minus 1 whole square plus y square x, x minus 1 whole square plus y square. So, that is modulus of z minus 1. So, modulus of z minus 1 whole square is just remove square root it gives x minus 1 whole square plus y square. Similarly, we can find modulus of z plus 1 whole square is equal to x plus 1 whole square plus y square. So, by adding we get this is equal to 4. So, substitute modulus of z minus 1 whole square plus modulus of z plus 1 whole square is equal to 4. We get x square plus y square is equal to 1 which is a unit circle. Thank you.